went to Tai Chi. Everybody ready? Let's warm up. Hands at your waist, turn your neck. One, two, three. Let's really do a good job. Let's turn that neck all the way, full extent, and let's bob it down a little bit. Eight, nine, ten. Stretch your neck. Stick that chin out, bring it back. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Turn your shoulders, lift them up, curl them round, drop them down. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Other way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Expand your chest a little higher. One, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Waist exercise, interlock and reach for the sky as you force your hips and waist to turn to peak at the heel of your opposite foot. Five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten. Airplane, bend at the hips and waist. Two, good Tai Chi posture. Three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten. Touch toe, make sure you arch some of your back. Here we go. One, arch, two, same way you go down, same way you come up by touching. When you arch, reach up for the sky. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Turn your hips. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Other way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Be careful. Shift your weight to the left. Kick your right foot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good Tai Chi posture. Drop those shoulders. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Kick your butt. One, shift your weight. Use your ankles. Touch your butt as best as you can. Eight. Nine, ten. Turn your knees. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
10, ask yourself if everything is getting into play, not only your knees. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Heisman, opening up your span, parallel feet, choose the right side, cross and sit on that side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Shift weight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Short one. One, two, three, four, five. Other way. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, cross training. Okay. Starting with making circles with our wrists. Okay. Arms extended, fully extended, wide out. Okay. So that you can feel your energy all the way to your fingertips. Going forward, yat, ni, sam, se, ng, luk, chat, bat, gao, sup. Palms are up, going backwards. Yat, ni, sam, se, ng, luk, chat, bat, gao, sup. Perfect. Okay? Riding the bicycle, pile of sand in front of you. Shift your weight to the left foot, ground yourself, kick up the sand that's in the front of you. Here we go. Yat, ni, sam, se, ng, luk, chat, bat, gao, sup. Pedal forward, press down that pedal, yat, ni, sam, se, ng, luk, chat, bat, Go, sup. Other side, hands at your waist. Here we go. Yat, ni, sam, se, ng, luk, chat, bat, go, sup. Pedal forward. Yat, ni, sam, se, ng, luk, chat, bat, Go, sup. Making circles with our feet now, okay? Shift to the left foot, ground yourself, allowing our insubstantial right foot to make circles first clockwise. You bay, yat, ni, sam, se, ng, luk, chat, bat, go, sup. Reverse, yat, ni, Sam, se, ng, luk, chat, bat, gao, sup. Stand on your right, circle with your left. Ibe, yat, ng, sam, se, ng, luk, chat, bat, gao, sup. Reverse, yat, ni, sam, se, ng, luk, chat, bat, gao, sup. Good. So, just standing here calling it out and trying to keep my own composure and balance, I find that if I'm grounded, I'm confident, I know exactly what I'm supposed to do, I find that my energy flows more smoothly and I can not only gain better balance, but I'm in the optimal position or equilibrium. So when you start to falter, and especially if it's constantly over and over again, especially when you practice or even while in class, then you gotta check yourself like a checklist. Am I posted? Am I straight up? Am I letting my energy flow rather than just doing this kind of ankle exercise? Am I using this whole core that's helping me to circle? I didn't really emphasize, but I think I have good listeners and followers to watch where the foot is, the recommendation is no higher than two inches above the ground. And I've studied this um, movement a lot in my um, past years of teaching it pretty regularly is that once the foot comes up, it's not only ha harder to balance because you're not grounded enough, 
but also you're only looking at the lower part of your leg to make the circle. Whereas, you remember when I say extend the knee? That knee is extended to set a point that helps you with better balance, but using all the bigger muscles besides the ankle and toe muscles, okay? So things like that. Draw um, similarities that you already have in your, your mind and brain because of what you hear or what you have learned or read or what you've already put together. Bring all of that in. Just because it's a new exercise doesn't mean you need to isolate it and do it a new way. Yeah, in some ways, but bring in that old knowledge, okay? Golden cockerel now, okay? Golden cockerel, make sure that spine is straight up. Opening up our span, thinking through, definitely tucking our butt, definitely straight up with our chin slightly down, creating spirals. Rotating our axle. Counterbalancing by pushing down, centering, coming up and synchronizing at the same time. All those good things. Last one. Kicking out now. Okay, don't rush it. 50-50. Draw the energy closer to your Danten as you shift your weight, come up at the same time, tuck the elbows, follow. Center, same time, and out, and in if you can. Shifting your weight, centering, tucking elbows, and following. Creating spirals. Definitely using your core, not your arms and hands and wrists and fingers. Making that mind active. Processing. Last set. Good job. Holding our ball. Out into the side, bow stance, part the wire towards the snake. Sit back, sit down, pivot, root down a little further, work those muscles, L stance, bottom hand advances, finish it up nicely. Sit back, sit down, pivot, hold your ball, round it out with spirals and circles. Here it is. Sit back, sit down. Pivot, root down, T, nice ball, bottom hand advances, both stance. Sit back, sit down, parallel higher on a T. Watch that hand that comes to the shoulders, a spiral to brush your knee. Sit back, sit down, pivot. Don't just jam it up to your shoulder. See how you can soften it by making a semicircle or spiral. Sit back, sit down, here we go for better softness and all together continuity. We are now warmed up, we're flexible, we're in our prime condition. We're going to ward off our opponent out into the side, push him away. Turn your hips and waist and show me how your hands. Now go for the ride. Hips and waist, hips and waist again, push. Separate, roll back, store energy, up energy, forward energy. Sit back, sit down, spirals, shift, center, move, bottom hand advances, ward off. Turn hips and waist, show me that there are drivers in the middle of your body. Roll back, sit down, push up, lunge forward. Sit back, sit down, pivot, twist, ball, out L, push, reposition, weight down, 
hands go for the ride, cores are being used, sit down, spiral up, lunge forward, sit down, sit back. We're going into cloud hands in the 24, out into the side, part the wild, horse's mane, oh, 10 form, sorry. Flip the hand, 10 form, cloud hands. I'm gonna trick you at the time, okay? So listen up. Okay, hook the back hand. We're getting out of the 10. We're doing the 24, serpent in the uh, single whip, half step, sit back, high pad on the horse. Swivel on that axle as you part, pad. Cross, step out, palms down. Gather energy, up with your right. Kick out with your right as you follow in. L stance heel. Look to your double punch. Don't forget that twist of your wrist in slightly. Sit back, sit down. Pivot all the way around. Gather energy, center towards your Danton. Come up, left hand outside, left foot out. Follow in. Serpent, look at that hook hand. Come down, pivot out to the left. If you suspend, shift your weight. Rotate on that axle, golden cockerel. Toe, spin, hook, look, down. Veer to the right, suspend. And shift weight, rotate on the axle, golden cockerel. L stance, hold ball. L stance, turn the ball. As it goes to the floor, turn your hips and waist, shuttles to her right. Sit back, sit down, pivot, hold ball, spin out, head, push, you turn your hips and waist, shuttle left, half step to the back, cross the hips and waist, oblique that bottom of the C hand, one hand, then join it by the second hand, then your foot, side in the middle, heel out, flash arms, sit back, sit down, pivot, and sweep up, heel down to deflect, bring it into parry, and then to punch. Touch, roll back, sit down, push up, lunge forward, twist, twist, in, first tuck that right hand in, then shift your weight, turn your, uh, onto your wrist to rotate, bring it in closer, push out using your core, separate your hands, drop shoulder, flex your knees, Gravity takes care of the rest as you now lift up and balance off the ground to close your form.